Our top story at 11 fire trucks crowded downtown Macon after lightning hit the historic Grants Lounge. This happened Saturday afternoon evening. Rather, the Macon Bibb County Fire Department stayed on the scene to put out the small fire on the upper part of the building. Sarah Hammond shows us what the damage looks like today. A loud boom echoed through downtown Macon Saturday night as lightning struck the historic Grants Lounge. Ricky Crawford said he was inside when Grants was hit. We thought it was a bomb. Really? That's how loud it was. And on the inside of the building, the only thing went out was the television sets. Grant's owner Cheryl Grant Louder said she came running when one of her employees told her what happened. I was not here, but I heard the loud noise from from my home. I thought the worst, but by the time I got here, the fire trucks was pulling up the same time I was. Sunday morning, the sun was shining and the damage from the lightning strike was visible, but Louder said she is grateful the damage wasn't any worse. I, I was just thankful and glad that it really wasn't um, uh, as bad. Bricks went flying when the lightning hit and shattered at least two car windshields parked on Poplar Street. But Macon Bibb Fire Chief Marvin Riggins says everyone was escorted out of the building safely and no one was injured. We're thankful that, that it didn't cause any more damage than it did to this point. And there were no injuries between, to us at this point. Louder assures everyone that it will be business as usual on Tuesday. I want everybody to come on down and join us here at Grants and, and uh, help us uh, keep the music alive. In Macon, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. Bibb County EMA Director Spencer Hawkins says that famous rock memorabilia in the inside appears to be just fine.